Okay, as we continue with assignment five, I have my assets folder. I'm gonna put that on the left here. And I have my stage folder. These are the finished frames. So I can kind of play it through. And now this next frame, I wanna retract the flowers even more. And you see how the clouds are getting stronger. I might even duplicate the clouds, right? So it's quite dark and then maybe even transform and flip them horizontally. Maybe vertically, let's see. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And then I want to have a lightning strike. So I believe I have that in my assets. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to drag that in into my assets. And then I'm going to take this lightning just like a texture fill, I'm going to have it, I'm going to stretch it to fill the whole space. All right. Reminds me of He-Man transforming, right? And what I'm going to do is simply play with opacity, right? Because a lightning flash should be strong, right? And it should probably go over the plant group as well. So what's the best way to do it? I could also try... Let's see, where did I put it? I could try making it in a screen mode. Yeah, that works well. So it's mostly just the light of the lightning coming through. And so I'm going to start it with this, and I'm going to move the head a little bit. Because remember, I'm checking it with my stage. I want to make sure that the head keeps moving. and maybe actually retreats inside a little bit more. Or no, I think for this one, I'm just gonna rotate it. Just like that. All right, let's see, is that enough of a change? Yeah, it's a pretty big change. That's at 38, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and keep it at 38. So what do I do? I hold down Option, I say Layer, Merge Visible, I get it all on one combined layer. I hit Command A to select all, Command C to copy it all, I move it over to the stage on the top layer, and Command V to paste it in. So I have a new frame. Next, gonna move pretty quickly. Gonna deselect and get rid of that combined frame. Gonna take the lightning up all the way to 80%. Maybe all the way to 100% because it's just on screen mode. Then I'm really gonna shrink the head in. Oh no, maybe not. I'm just gonna move it again because these might be really faster frames. Move it back. Um, the flowers, I might actually shrink at this point. Some more. And I'm just gonna do a straight kind of scale down, and I can also do a little bit of a distort, right? So that's a pretty big difference. And it's like they're getting electrocuted a little bit. Okay, and then let's see, I can actually start changing the body a little and start fading this out. All right, now I'm going to combine all of those, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, select all, copy, paste it in. It's a big change in environment. So it goes from the sky changing color. It takes about 10 frames. Sky starts to change as these flowers build. Really darkens. Then lightning strikes, right? Then it needs to clear up pretty quickly. So I'm going to go all the way down to about 12%. Whoops, not on that layer. Deselect and delete that layer. So about 12% for the, for the lightning. It's kind of the afterglow of it. 
We'll make it seem really bright. Maybe a little bit more. Let's do 25%. Okay, gonna shift the head because now this, this creature is really freaked out. All right, now the flowers recede a little bit more. Yeah, I think, well, let's see. Nope, even more. And I can move them down. Maybe make them a little paler, okay? Next, this is going to start to lighten a little bit, the sky. Okay, good. Gonna combine it, option, layer merge visible. Take the combined layer, select it all, copy, paste it into my stage on top of everything. Go back to this, deselect, delete. Take this down to zero, start clearing the sky even more. Start reducing the flowers. Oh, you know, one thing I didn't do, shoot. Haha. Uh -huh. So this is where without kind of a clear plan and a checklist, you can make mistakes. So I changed these flowers. There we go. But I didn't change the big flowers on his back. So let me, before I combine them, so you see how the big flowers don't change, and that's gonna be weird. So I'm gonna get rid of that layer, go back to this, and then let's see the big flowers here. I need to shrink those more. That works pretty well. And maybe I just move these down. Thin them out a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe stretch them just this way a little bit. Cool. All right, I like how you see his eye and then you don't. Okay, now merge those, do that again. Merge visible, select it all, copy it, paste it over. Good, next step, deselect. Take the lightning out completely. Go to the next plant. Lighten the sky some more. Take the big plants, shrink them even more. I'm not using puppet warp because this is just all retracting them all at once. <coughs> and then move the head in some more. Cover it up a little bit. Uh, it's two. More fur. <coughs> yeah, so that works. Merge that option, layer, merge visible. You have to be on a layer with an eyeball turned on in order to merge visible, so I can't use the lightning one anymore. Select it all, Command A, Command C, copy it, paste it over, check it, good. We're really moving now. 
deselect. Now we want to pretty much get rid of the flowers entirely. So there's just going to be a little hint of it. Get rid of these ones entirely. Let's see. Where's the body? Kind of take this body down. Yep, that works. And then the head goes even deeper. Now we haven't moved the sky at all or changed the sky, so we have to do that. Clear up the darkness. And then start moving those clouds again, because now we can see them. It's going to start to clear up. There we go. Option, layer, merge, visible. So repetitive. That is what animation is. Knowing what you're doing and then repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. And repeating. But it's kind of fun. The magic of moving stuff. Now we get rid of the plants entirely. Clear up the sky entirely. We are now doing this setting to reset, getting back to our first frame or close to it. Let's see. Really got to dim down this blue. Oh, that might be a little too strong, let's see. Maybe about there. Yep, and now let's move the head almost all the way in. How much fur do we really need covering it? Let's see. Just a little bit more. And then let's move the clouds. Okay. Option, layer, merge, visible. Select all, copy, paste. All right, now I'm gonna do run a quick animation test because I think I have to do a little bit more to get it to set to reset without jumping too much, but I'm gonna save things first. I'm gonna save both my assets and my stage. You see how, how they're both staging? I look back at my sketch and I see if I've accomplished my major um, keyframes because that's what storyboards are. They're the keyframes. They're the big storytelling moments that are necessary. Did I establish the scene with lots of these little bumps? Did I introduce the character coming out of one of those bumps? Did the character start to move a little bit and have plants start to grow out of it until they almost take over the whole frame? Did storm clouds begin to gather while that was happening? Did the character get scared and the plants get reabsorbed? And then does it set to reset where the character is hiding again and it's just a mound? Yes, we're getting there. All right, so let's run an animation test. First, I'll get rid of this flattened layer. All right. So to run an animation test, I go to my timeline. I say, make frames from layers. I get rid of that first one by dragging it to the trash can within the animation timeline window. I select, hold down shift, select all the frames. There are only 28 frames, which isn't too bad. And then I'm gonna change the timing to 0.3 seconds. Then I hit play for forever. Okay, all the big things are there, but some moments go by too fast. So I'm gonna show you how you can animate with the timeline now. 
But right now I'm looking at